so this is my Mexican flag. Each color represents something. The red is okay. The word is actually in a private school for real. So what the word means? So sorry. And you can actually fold. I don't know. I don't know how you do it, but you can fold it. I don't remember how, but you put you put it the green on top for time of peace, and when and when you're in war, you flip it over for the red. And this right here is one is like the most important part. <coughs> and and I actually and it's the, a long time ago. Mexicans used to be Indians, and they used to be Indians, and they believed in gods. And the Indian tribe leader, he, he he actually believed that that they could communicate with gods in their dreams. And he had a dream that that God told him to make a long trip, and then and the next night, well, he, he dreamed, and it said, and he said that he had a prophecy. That wherever he sees an eagle eating a snake near a lake, that's where he built a city and a temple. So they looked many years for it, and when they found it, they built their city. And then there was the, and there used to be a bunch of different flags of this. Cut, and then they, and then they made this one. So next is. Uh, so January fifth is the day of the three kings. So that's what the that's what we believe instead of Santa Claus. So so the three kings. So so a long time ago when Jesus was being born, as you can see here, they, they there was like these three kings, and they studied the stars, and then there was there came this this big star, and then they knew. But wherever that star is, there we born a new king. So then they went there to to Jesus and brought presents for him. One brought one. I, I forgot their names, but one of them rode a horse, and one rode an elephant, and one rode a camel. And actually, I remember what their gifts were. One brought like a brought gold. One brought like this, like. Like something to smell like frankincense and myrrh. Like something gold frankincense to smell. and myrrh. I think that's what they use instead of airwick. And one brought like this material to make like paper, a type of paper that they used, uh, of, uh, and a perfume and medicine. <clears throat> and then while well, they were at it, they brought presents to the children of the world. So then at night, people, kids go, you make like a little party at home, and then and then you can go to sleep. But you put like your shoes next to the Christ a Christmas tree, so then they'll know which present goes to who. So then you can come here, and then you can wake. And January sixth, that's when you wake up, and then you eat a roast called the Reyes, which is a, this is a picture right here. Oh, um, I try not to poke anyone with it. So you're putting it. So roast called the Reyes, which is it has like fruit on it. And inside there's like this little tiny plastic baby Jesus and yeah. and if you get it you have to bring it you have to bring tamales for for like I think it was February second. Valentine's Day. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and there's and actually they don't I don't think they have Valentine's Day there, but I'm not sure but then they wait.